Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to the drive-in. Today we are going to do, as I promised, we are going to talk about a movie that encapsulates family. I watch this film every Christmas day and it warms my heart. That's right, I'm talking about the 1974 classic Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What happened was true. <laughs> The most bizarre and brutal series of crimes in America. This is the movie that is just as real, just as close. Just as terrifying as being there. Even if one of them survives, what will be left? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. After you stop screaming, you'll start talking about it. I remember when I was seven years old, and I've told this story a bunch of times to a bunch of people. So if you've heard it, I apologize. When I was seven, I was at my dad's house, and he passed out in his chair, and I didn't want to watch golf or a Western, because I didn't appreciate Westerns back then like I do now, because I'm cultured. So he had a VHS tape in the machine. And now this is when VHS tapes were the only way to watch movies, kids. They weren't just some kind of ironic thing that you buy with your tiny mustache and your tight pants. And it didn't have a label on it. It was kind of like frayed off. You couldn't see what it was. So I pushed the tape in, and if this had been porn, this would be a very different conversation. Look for Uncle Ron's Peep Show coming soon. And when I pushed the tape in, it automatically started playing, and this woman was running out of a house, and a giant hulking man in some weird mask. I didn't know it was skin at the time came up running behind her, grabbed her, yanked her back in, put her on the hook. And that was my first foray into Toby Hooper. That was my first foray into the wonderful world of Chainsaw. And I was forever changed. Toby Hooper showed me that movies can be made on the cheap and, and very effectively. This is not the greatest horror film ever. And I'm sorry, Joe Bob, it's not. But damn if it isn't in the top five. Damn if it isn't in the top five. Uh, we'll be getting to my favorite horror film that I think is the best horror film a little bit later on, down the road, not today, because that's a, boy, that's a whole thing to talk about. But Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974 is the perfect combination of unnerving, unsettling, atmospheric and the performances are just fantastic um franklin <laughs> acted like that the entire time to piss everybody off and uh, i don't blame them for hating him and you kind of cheer when what happens to him happens to him um but if you are watching this and you have not seen the original texas chainsaw massacre i highly suggest that you get to your shutter machine and you watch that 
film. All right, everybody, thanks for coming to the drive-in. Make sure to put your speakers back on the post. Drive safely out of here. No more than 10 miles an hour. No funny stuff either, unless I'm involved. Clean up after yourself. And uh, be sure to stop by next week.